What's up, y'all? It is 5.30 a.m. Saturday. Making my pre-workout and loading that Cyclo Creation by ALR. Here's a stack I love. I've been using it the last few days. I'm addicted to it. Half a scoop of ProSups High. Half a, and then a full scoop of ProSups Dr. Jekyll. Now, I'll tell you what. We have this as a stack on Tiger Fitness. And it has a lot of... You know, I like stacking the pump with the stimulant. This does the same thing. Jekyll has 100 milligrams of caffeine. It's full of agmatine and all that good stuff. Um, it's just a damn good product. It's so first thing in the morning. I don't have anything on my stomach. I'm actually, put some carbolic in here. There's actually a perfect amount left in the bottle. Lucky I have another one. All right, and then, let's see what we're going to add to this. We'll throw in. Nutrition way. Boom. About, about a half a scoop. Just a little bit of protein. And just for shits and giggles, some Lucene Matrix and Process. But the main thing I want to highlight in here is the Jekyll and Hyde stack. I think that's a great stack. Um, you'll feel it. I've been using it since I went to Texas. I really like it. During training, mix that up in a separate cup. I'm going to have a half scoop size on by Gaspari. That's what I love to do when I'm bulking. I like to get about 20 grams of carbs during training. So I get that from size on. And then I'm going to throw in a scoop of amino acids. And that's my intra workout shake. That's it, guys. All right, y'all. Here we go. Now, it's been a while since I voiced this over. That's because I thought y'all were tired of it. But turns out, you just wanted more of me talking, which is quite hard to believe. Saturday morning, as you saw in the little intro skit of me going on my pre-workout stack, which I do because a lot of people email me about this, we started with Smith Machine Barbell Press. Now, we're all wearing belts um, because we've turned completely brown. Now, our backs are a little screwed up, and I like to increase the intro abdominal pressure. Head slap! Van had to go first. Van's got this thing going with muscle tech. He's doing this transformation of van formation. I think it's Van's uh, Road to Sexyville, I think I called it. Banners are coming out next week. Repping out the 315, y'all. Look at that. Yeah, my elbows are even locking out, you little fucking trolls. Okay, boom. Got it done. See, Van had to go first. He's like, dude, I'm all muscle tech. Me and Branch fucking Warren. I'm like, dude, Van, you're still just a redneck with a funny cock tack. And he's like, well, let me chew my tobacco. And I'm like, all right, dude. Now, notice Van wears a powerlifting belt for lateral raises. <laughs> That's because he's hardcore. Now, Van, uh, he went to the chiropractor. Turns out he has a twisted fucking spine. So it's been there his whole life. Lifting just exaggerated it. So he's getting that fixed up, and hopefully he'll be straight. Uh, it was kind of awkward when he came out the closet, but now at least maybe the chiropractor will intervene, and as some religious fanatics believe, can make him straight. So Van, welcome to the straight side. Anyway, I didn't bring my belt today, I just forgot I left him my wife's minivan. And here I go. Boom. These are the upper rows. I'm doing what we do with Gaspari. Why? Because Rich Gaspari is the fucking man, and he did it, so I'm doing it too. No science behind that. No pain, no glory. No arms, no calves. That's pretty much my motto in life. And instead of what Rich did with two arms, I'm alternating, and my delts are so toast already. I mean, we're only showing, we did, I worked up 135, 185, 225, 275, then 315. That's five sets on the Smith machine. And then we did three sets of lateral raises, three sets of this, set number two right here. Van, now he's been, this is what works for Van. You guys might say his form's messed up. If you look, Van's a lanky motherfucker, you know. He's like eight feet tall. Well, compared to me, everybody's eight feet tall. And he's bringing him up to what feels comfortable for him. And as you know, he wore his best tank top today and his best cock sideways hat, which is, um, you know, in, in Redneckville, they should be wearing that shit curved in the front, shouldn't they? I mean, he's kind of a blend of hood and redneck. You know, it's like what happened if a crip made love to his sister and came out, oh, there's Van, you know. But anyway, that's besides the point. We're tearing up Dells. It's early Saturday. The gym is dead. Why? Because I had, let's see, my kids had soccer practice, um, 9 o'clock and 10.30. Had to go to both of those. Actually, I took Thomas. We had to mow the lawn later that day. And Van has a life. He has a wife. He has a kid. I mean, we're just working men, dude. We, uh, you know, we kind of uh, get done when we can. 
And here we go, reverse. Boom, we're hitting the rear delts here. Um, we just decided to do dumbbells today. You'll see in the background, that big trainer back there, he is RJ, dude. He knows what he's doing. He's a good dude. Real good dude. I mean, he's one of, he knows what he's doing. If you notice, he's, he's actually showing good form on lap pull downs. But enough about him. Let's talk about my sexy ass. My lats kind of, you know, sticking out there like a big chunk of meat. That's one thing I'm happy with, my lats. Anyway, here we go. Working the shrugs. Traps boy has been a weak point to me. And um, I hit a lot of shrugs with um, deadlifts and also with these trap specific movements. But I'm a big fan of deadlifts for building overall strength. And that concludes our trap and shoulder workout. As you see now, I went straight gangster mark. I'm like, you know, fuck this shit. I'm going to get some gunshots and all that. We went light on this. Went about 50. I don't know how many reps I get. How many reps I get? 12, 15? We'll find out. Just start counting now. And um, we're just repping it out today. We got, we actually did biceps a couple days prior, but we thought we wanted to do biceps again. Van and I are both not happy with the way our arms look and we want to make them bigger. And I also want to get you fucking trolls to stop making fun of me. At least, you know, I look like, you know, a cross between a white Aunt Jemima, um, a white male Aunt Jemima, and a pirate with the bandana on. Now, here's, here's, uh, here's Van going on, getting his bicep pump on. I mean, Van, you know, he's got some comments in some of his videos. You know, Van's not big. Van doesn't train. Van, I mean, if he took his shirt off and flexed for you, you guys would be like, holy shit, I was wrong. Van's in shape. I mean, here's a 215-pound, 6'1 dude whose body fat is 10, a little over 10% right now. You can't really hate on that physique, dude. Van's a man and a half. He's a strong motherfucker. And you guys just say, do you even lift? Yeah, watch. He's lifting now, bitches. Anyway, here he goes, pulling it up. And as you know, we both ate before the gym. We weren't fasting for this. I had my carbolic in MTS way. These I brought in. I haven't done them in a while. Cross-body hammer curls. I like the uh, contraction this gets, the brachialidoris hitting it does, and also the fact that I look really fucking cool on camera doing it. Doesn't that look fucking awesome? I just want to go and molest myself right now. Chest veins popping. I'm really happy with this, and it would look better if I had a beard, but you know what? You guys are just going to have to do with the sexuality displayed right here, and that is quite sexual. Van comes in. Now, again, we're built differently. That's how you're going to see how we kind of differ. I have very short appendages, except for the one between my legs. So there goes the white Aunt Jemima. Um, so basically, here's Van. Now you see that arm vein going down. Van's a big motherfucker. You guys can't tell in videos, but you stand next to him. You're like, man, that guy's country strong, man. He's just going to come here and he's going to lift the tractors and plow the fields with his teeth. And Van is one of the few people in the South who actually has teeth. So more power to him for knowing dental hygiene, flossing, brushing, and talking during his set. He's so happy with his teeth, he needs to show them. Look at that. He's like, look, guys, I have teeth. Now, my main thing about living, oh, here we're moving. We're moving on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And ready and time for the animation. All right. Didn't animate that one. All right, here we go. Now, this is called 21s. I learned this from Jason Theobald. We only filmed half of this because it took fucking eight minutes. Okay? Here's Van. He does one. I do two. He does three. I do four. He does five. I do six. Till we hit 21. Now, here we've already done a lot of sets. So we're just pumping it out. There's my tiny little arms. Everybody's saying, oh, look how cute your little arms and calves are. Oh, look how cute they are, Mark. They're so small. They're so tiny. Well, that's fine. It's okay. I still, I still attract many, many women with fetishes and men as well. And farm animals now that I'm in the South. Now, the beauty of living in the South is women with no teeth. You know, they're, they're, you know I had to look at myself there. Women with no teeth, I mean, I think you should have less insurance that you need to carry you know, your, your premiums should be less because, I mean, dating a woman with no teeth is pretty much the perfect scenario. There's no chance for scrapage, no chance for injury, and no chance for bodily harm when they're doing that little something-something that we all like to consider fun. Now, at the end of this, when you start at one rep and you work your way up to 21, of course, with your partner doing the set in between, at the end of it, you're beat. You're going beyond your threshold, and for me, 50 pounds, I'm going to swing it up. I'm going to get up wherever way I can. And keep in mind, we already did some biceps before this. So we're repping it out. Now you guys are probably like, man, I'm sick of hearing this motherfucker talk. Oh, man, that hurts. Ow. Oh, let me put my arms. Oh, there's a good stretch. Look at Van, dude. I mean, look at his arm profile. You guys got to stop hating on him. Sure, I mean, when he steps on stage next year, Van is doing a show, I believe, in uh, May or June of next year. I forgot which one. But when he does his show, I, I want him to shut a lot of people up because he can get shredded. I, I know he can. He has the discipline to do so. And um, so there he goes. 
I mean, he's doing his set. I'm going to do mine. Now, again, we cut this off. We only did the higher rent. I didn't even turn the camera on because I knew how boring this would fucking be. And I didn't want a 45-minute friggin' video that bored you to death because who the hell wants to watch that? Anyway, just repping it out. Yep, the white male Aunt Jemima hitting it up right there. If you notice, I got some stuff, man. I got my shirt. That shirt's available at TigerFitness.com, by the way. Um, the No Pain, No Glory, Barthel Fitness Machine Training Solutions uh, Co-op shirt. Look at that. Got that done. I believe this is Van's last set. Here he hits 21. Man, you guys can't see right now, but I just took a sip of that there protein shake. Okay. I almost belched, but I held back. You see my new orange kicks, my new orange vibrams? That's in honor of TigerFitness.com. Inc. 500 worthy TigerFitness.com. Van's hurting. Last time we did this, he only got up to 11 reps. He finished it this time. He bit his ego at the road, and he went down to 20 pounds. Uh, he felt like a bitch at the beginning, but felt like a bitch at the end, too. But he was a pump bitch. Look at that arm pump. Okay, here comes Van. This is what I like to call forearm killers. You do 15 reps. Reverse side of the um, of the easy easy curl bench, of the preacher bench, and rotate it up. Thumbs over grip, so you have to utilize your grip. Go light. Do 15. We did three sets of these. Once you're done with these, you flip it around, and you do reverse curls, which hurt like a bitch after doing 15 reps with the wrist curls. I learned this from the late, great Lynn McAteer. My former training partner used to work at Europa Sports Bay. He rest in peace. The greatest person I have ever known and uh, will ever know. Here comes the last set of the exercise. I'm going to hit it up. By this time, we're done. If you notice, we're kind of, I mean, by this time, we've lost our attention span. Half-assing it a little bit, talking, joking, talking about how we want our wives to put out more. You know, normal married guy stuff. I'm going to hit it up, get it done, guys. Thank you so much for watching us. TigerFitness.com. Nothing works unless you do. And here comes the prettiest friggin' ad in the world. Peace out!